According to the National Diet and Nutrition Survey, around 30% of UK adults have low vitamin D levels in the winter months. So it's really important for us to take a supplement. The government recommends 10 micrograms of vitamin D daily to support your immune function and other things like your bone health. But for good immunity, it's important to have a wide range of foods. And I'm particularly interested in us eating more plant-based foods because these particular foods have got nutrients such as copper, selenium, vitamin A and others that can help to support a healthy immune function. Now that doesn't need, mean you need to go vegan, it just means considering incorporating more plant-based foods into your diet such as whole grains, nuts, seeds, pulses, fruits and vegetables. So let's look a little bit more closely at some of those. So vitamin A is um, found in brightly coloured, orange yellow coloured vegetables such as carrots, yellow peppers, butternut squash, sweet potato, see what I mean about the plant-based foods? Um, these are carotenoids and they give, they give the, the vegetable or the fruit that, that beautiful bright yellow or orange colour. And carotenoids such as beta carotene which you get in carrots are converted into vitamin A in the body in order to help support your immune function. Now that doesn't mean to say you don't get vitamin A in animal foods. In fact, you get, you do. In fact, vitamin A is found in foods like liver, but we don't get enough of it perhaps because we're not great liver eaters in the UK. Um, and I believe we should be moving towards more plant-based eating. So I'm a very big advocate of having those carotenoids which become vitamin A in the body. But what you need in order to enhance your absorption of that beta carotene is to process them, would you, be, would you believe? So actually having a raw carrot on its own doesn't give you as much of that beta carotene and that, that vitamin A, in fact, I should say, um, compared to if you had, say, chopped the carrot and stir fried it. In fact, there's some research to suggest that you get around six and a half times more vitamin A from carrots when you add oil, when you cook them, when you stir fry them, compared to if you'd eaten those carrots raw. So um, eating those, those foods are, are really important for a healthy immune function. We also know that B vitamins such as vitamin B6, vitamin B12 can contribute to a normal immune function. And I really am in favour of fortified foods here. I think particularly things like fortified breakfast cereals, yeast extract, can give you those B vitamins that, that are, are good for your immune system. And we also know that foods like nuts, say peanuts, which can give you copper, that also helps to support a normal immune function. And manganese that you find, for example, in uh, pecan nuts are also great. So eating a handful of nuts daily is one of my mantras with my, my clients. Nuts are high in unsaturated fats, which are the good fats, uh, plant protein, fiber, I think they're a very healthy convenient snack, and a handful a day will also um, has also been associated with reduced incidence of conditions such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and even weight gain. So um, having that as part of your healthy, balanced variety of plant-based foods, I believe, can help to support a good immune function.